before we dive into the study, what is the typical treatment when somebody is dealing with this? Is, is it just <clears throat> painkillers? Is it hormone supplementation? Yeah, all of the above. <clears throat> the diagnosis itself can be a bit convoluted and um, not to skip over the question, but a lot of times women will opt for surgical procedures to treat this. Oh, wow. And so ultimately you won't n know for sure until there's actual testing of the tissue and so until like some of the tissues actually removed. So that's, that's an option. Is that like a, I mean, you're talking about thinning out the tissue or are we talking about like a hysterectomy? <clears throat> Hysterectomies are often, wow. um, are often kind of, I'm not sure if it's really last line, but if, if symptoms are so bad and you're, you know, past the age of wanting to become pregnant, sure. then, you know, that it, it is a viable option at least. Now there are other, there are other, you know, laparoscopic procedures mm -hmm. that can, I think be a less invasive or, sure. or, or less sort of, um, intense options. But, you know, the surgical aspect of this is certainly not the full scope of this, but, um, but yeah, that, those are the general two options with respect to surgery. Um, in general, what you'll see initially being used, uh, NSAIDs, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, will help m manage some of the symptoms. Uh, as we mentioned as well, hormones play a role. So oral contraceptives, whether it's uh, combined options, estrogen and progestin, or just the progestin component, yep. those play a role. And uh, something called gonadotropin releasing hormone. Uh, there's the GNRH agonists that are used for sort of this initial treatment of the pain uh, or for someone who's suspected to have this endo endometriosis related pain. Yeah. Those essentially at the level of the brain, you know, change the hormonal cascade that occurs that ultimately affects the endometrium. So you are at the level of the hypothalamus essentially down regulating the production of estrogen. Which and then really leads so, to sort of shuts down maybe the the hyper proliferation of that cell type that can be occurring if it's you know estrogen certainly estrogen driven. Um, <clears throat> androgens also play a role. So there, there's a there's a handful of different options here. There's something called add back therapy, and so oftentimes women will will start a GnRH agonist, which can sort of blunt the production of, of these hormones. And so though, so quote unquote, adding back some hormone, maybe um, in the form of estrogen or a progesterone form, you can do that to not cause symptoms to occur again, but, to, but by reducing those hormones, there are potential side effects. So adding sure. back some of the hormone can help, you know, hopefully help mitigate side effect and Interesting. prevent bone loss and those, those sorts of issues. 